Seedless vascular plants possess vascular tissues, xylem and phloem, for transport of materials through the body. However, they do not produce seeds bearing dormant embryos as part of the reproductive process. They are among the oldest of land plants. There are three divisions of seedless vascular plants, and that's Asylophyta, Lycophyta, and Spinophyta. Um, examples of these are ferns, mosses, and horsetails, respectively. In this image, you can see the life cycle of a seedless vascular plant. This is um, specifically a fern. There are two halves to the life cycle, a haploid half and a diploid half. Uh, one thing that the life cycle does is it reproduces by spores rather than seeds. Uh, there are three stages to the life cycle. In stage one, mature plants release tiny spores into the air, which are carried for an unknown distance by the wind. In order to develop into the next stage, which is a gametophyte, the spore must settle on moist soil. In stage 2, under favorable conditions, either underground or on the surface, a gametophyte develops containing the reproduct reproductive parts, the eggs and the sperm, of the plant. The sperm swims to the eggs for the fertilization process. After fertilization, the young sporophyte grows from a developed zygote. Until the young sporophyte develops rhizomes, they are dependent on the gametophyte, which eventually dies. In stage 3, the plant begins to evolve when leaves appear from the rhizome. The leaves take mature form, some develop into sporophyll form, which bear small capsule-like structures called sporangia, containing spores. During favorable conditions, the spores are released and the life cycle begins again. The majority of these plants produce one type of haploid spore and one type of sporangium, which is also called homospore. The spores, when dispersed to a suitable habitat, will germinate to form a bisexual or hermaphroditic gametophyte, that is, where the haploid and diploid parts fit in. This image is an example of a wisp fern. It's one of the very first uh, seedless vascular plants that can be seen by the fossil record. Um, they develop since this plant. They have developed developed a vascular structure, allows transfer of water and nutrients, and does not grow seeds. Theories on the origin of vascular plants suggest that they probably arose from an ancestor in the group of non-vascular plants known as bryophytes. The most derived bryophyte, the mosses, share an ancestor with a line that gave rise to all vascular plants.